Hello everyone, Kevin Fahey here, Adult Services Librarian with the Casa Grande Public Library. I'm bringing to you the first iPhone tip of the week. I thought that since we're unable to have any technology classes right now, that I could be giving you some uh, technology tips for your iPhone. So here, let's go ahead and get started. The first tip that I have for you is a function known as the haptic touch. Now, no one really calls it the haptic touch. Most people call it um, either touch and hold or popping out. And it's kind of akin to the right click on your mouse. If you ever use a right click on your mouse and you right click on something, it brings you up a list of functions that you can do of, on your computer that on for whatever you right clicked on haptic to touch is similar or the touch and hold is similar if you touch and hold on something it'll give you some functions that you can do with whatever you touched and hold on so let's go ahead and try it i'm going to go ahead and touch and hold and what i do is i place my finger on the screen on whatever object I'm t i want to bring the um, touch and hold screen up and I hold it down, and as soon as the um, this this new menu comes up, I release. Now on newer phones, it will also kind of vibrate. It will give you a little pulse to let you know that this new menu has popped up. So I'm going to touch and hold on the uh, the camera app here, and there's the menu. Now if you had a newer phone, it kind of gave a short pulse. And these are some functions that I can do right now. I can take a selfie or I can record a video, take a photo, record slow-mo. And then another function that doesn't have anything to do with the Photos app is to edit the home screen, which we'll go over in another iPhone tip later on. So to get out of that, you just press out, you tap outside of that box and it will return you back to the home screen. Now you can touch and hold or pop out on any object or any app there, and it will give you options that are related to that app. Um, with you, when you touch and hold on the settings app, you can you, uh, go to your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or cellular data settings. You can go to your battery, and then of course, edit the home screen is on the bottom there. Um, if I touch and hold on text, it will give me some options for that, which we'll take a look at at another uh, iPhone tip of the week. And then um, if I go to my control center, and if I touch and hold on any one of these boxes, it will pop out that box, and I'll get more options and more description of the functions in that box. So that's also what the touch and hold can do, or the popping out can do. Try it out. Try it out at home. Touch and hold on something and see what it does, and uh, see if there's anything that useful that you feel um, that will um, you can use. So, anyway, that does it for the iPhone tip of the week. I hope you find it useful, and look forward to uh, giving you a new tip next week.